yesterday I was, I was crossing the road down there and there was a fellow with his two young children and the guy was on red on the traffic light and people were walking and his kids went to go. And I heard him say, no, wait for the green man. And I was walking as I heard him, and, but the kids were right by me. And I, do you know what? I just, I walked back. I actually went back and said to the kids, don't do that. But I, I had a conscience for the first time in my life, you know? I don't know, going back, well, nine, five, five years, five months, I would never have, never have done that. You know, but I was just so totally different, totally different person how I am, you know? The way I used to deal with any problems I had was through drink and drug. I go out and anaesthetise myself, but today it's different. Today I can go, I can make phone calls, I can talk to staff, I got a good key worker, and everything's good. Today everything's good for me. I wouldn't be here otherwise if it wasn't for this place. I get up in the morning, I, because of my 12 step program, I did my gratitude list, I do my prayers in the morning, but the first thing I do is when I put my blind up, and look across the way by there, I got to pinch myself. I was basically just killing myself uh, with drugs and everything else. Um, I, I just took some bad depths to survive. I, I just needed safety and I needed um, someone to care. And they did. They just made me feel uh, safe straight away. I hadn't felt safe for a very long time. I hadn't felt safe since I'd left Birmingham prison. Um, when you come in this building, it lifts you. It makes you feel um, like you want to become better than what people have said you are. It's made a difference to my life, and I, I know this made a difference to every other person in this place. That's 21 lives. You're enabling me to get my life back where no one else would do that for me. It's a very, very special place indeed. But this, is a, this was a godsend. It was, it was just, it's just everything I want. I need. I was drinking and drinking every day, taking heroin, crack, having my mother travel all around the country from a young age, you know, coming to visit his son in prison or um, friends. Oh, I'm going to see him again today, but he's my son. I've got to, you know. I haven't spoke to my family for years. We're sort of talking, getting back on, and, uh, and that's because of here. It's 15 weeks from Monday. I haven't had a drink or taken drugs for. My future's bright at the minute, I'm looking forward to it. I was excessively drinking. I got taken into hospital for nine weeks um, with liver failure and jaundice. Um, and then coming out of there, obviously then coming straight into the hospital at Duffrig House. Looking back at what I've achieved this year so far and how far I've come, and I wouldn't have been able to do that without Duffrig at all because I would have stayed in my room and not done anything, but they encouraged you. They encouraged me slowly and, you know, brought me out of my shell. Um, and it's lovely when people believe in you. I was homeless. I was living in a tent, um, suffering from addiction, obviously. And I was ready to change, like, I mean, but the fact was I just needed a roof over my head. Like, you've given me all that support I've ever wanted a family to give me. Every day is a new thing, like, and it's all benefit. I wake up happy. I'm ready for work, but I'm ready to live.